Hi, in this video I'm going to recreate this drawing using GeoGebra, the GeoGebra app. So I'm using GeoGebra Classic 5. Now one of the first things you need to consider is if I'm going to put my axis like this, they're not equal aspect. So therefore it's no good just drawing circles. What we need to do is draw ellipse. And so the numbers I came up with are by trial and improvement. But I will upload this uh, GeoGebra app to... Um, uh, GeoGebra and then put a link in the notes of the video and then you can download it if you wish. Okay, so if I go to first of all a new window. Okay, so I've got my window set up like this. So I'm just going to first of all change the axis. Now to change the axis I need to go up here, click this one and then put my axis here and then I sort of made it like that for mine. Okay, in order to create the inner part or the outer part of the eye, I'm going to enter this ellipse. So down here in input, I'm going to put x minus 2, because I want the center to be at 2, 6, okay? So I'm going to make the center to be of my thing at 2, 6, which is about here. So squared, you just use a little hat button to begin with. I'm not going to divide that ellipse by anything. And then the y coordinate, I'm going to be y minus 6. And then I'm going to obviously have to square that. And then I'm going to divide that one by 2.5. And then put it equal to 1. And you, you can there see I've now got my ellipse. Now to format that, if I click, I, I need to be on this one here to format this here at the top here. To format it, if I click on it, right click, object properties, and then go to color and then I'm going to change the color to something like I think it was that one I chose okay but there's plenty of colors there to choose from and then obviously I need a little bit of background so I'm going to make that about 25 percent that will now shade it in a little bit like that okay for the circle which is I'm going to have to draw an ellipse because the axes are not equal aspects so I chose x minus 2 squared and then I divided that by 0 0.25 and then I added y minus 6 squared Oops, make sure the squared is outside the bracket so just correct that slightly and then I think I divided that one just by 1 and equal to 1 you can see now I've got my circle I press enter and then I'm going to right click on that so, and then go to object properties and then I think the color I chose for that and obviously again I need to make it like that okay well I might make this maybe make the lines a bit thicker so make the lines so select both right click go to properties and then go to style and I probably we should make the lines about seven so they stand out Okay, for the other eye, for the left eye, I'm going to do a little shortcut, which I'll show you in a minute. First of all, I'm going to draw the um, face down here. So for the uh, sort of mouth, I chose, um, first of all, I just chose x squared, but only I want to draw it from certain values of x. So the ones I chose for putting a comma, did for minus 1.5, and then a little bit fiddly, go down here in the bottom corner, and select the inequality sign. I don't think it matters if you do, if you if you selected the uh, not equal uh, the one it was not equal to, but this is what I did. X, and then the same again, and then put one point five. Press enter. Okay, we'll change the color, and then to get the other one, I did uh, the, the lower jaw. I'm going to do two x squared minus 2.3 okay you can see that it fits here and here so I need to uh, make it go from minus 1.5 to so I have to put off to it don't worry if it disappears while you're doing this uh, x to 1.5 Okay, so I'm going to make them now both the same colour. So I'm going to click that one and click that one and then right click, go to properties. 
make the line thickness seven and make the color one sort of a browny color like it was in the original drawing. Okay, now how do I get the bit that's shaded in the bit in the middle here to be shaded in? So that is like doing the integral between two lines. So there's a command in algebra that says integral and you want the one that says integral between. So integral between function, function, start value, n value, which is that one there. So I'll put the functions. Now the functions have got num names, f and g. So f, because that's on the top, g, the start value is minus 1.5. With the arrow key, just go to each one and then to 1.5. You can see then it's shaded in, but it does put a number in, so it does actually mark uh, the area. So if you right click, and then get rid of the show label, the number will disappear. So we've got the eye, the right eye and the mouth. Now you want the left eye. So to get the left eye, rather than putting these in again, what we're going to do is we're going to reflect them. So do reflect object line. So the object, first of all, we're going to reflect C. You have to do uh, one at a time. C, and then the line uh, It's the, uh, y-axis, so that's the line x is equal to zero. You can see that one then has gone over there. Press enter, and then do the same again. Reflect, object uh, line, so that will be uh, my uh, D. Okay, so just have to take count of what things are called, because these are all up here, that, that's C, and this one has been called D. All right, depends what it calls them. Okay, and then if that uh, line is going to be x is equal to zero, these num these letters might come up different, but you can see the one c c dash c dash is the reflection. Okay, and you've got d and d dash is the reflection. Okay, and then we have the finished sort of finished drawing. Now, if you don't want all the grid, then if you right click and then go to graphics grid, and then you can just have the major grid lines like they are in your original drawing. Okay, if you want these numbers to be a little bit larger, then you need to do options, font size, and then change them to something a bit larger. Takes a bit of time. Okay, and so this, and if you don't want people to see this, then you just um, close that like that. You can move it along and center it like that. And then you've got your finished object. If you want to see those uh, values again, just go to view, and select algebra view and then you've got that you can make it a little bit bigger you can see all the values that you put in now these might change but if you want to get back to the original format just right click um, object properties basic and it will show you exactly what was put in okay so i hope this video has been useful this has been a video to show you how to draw a object using uh, g algebra I hope you've understood. Uh, please let me know if you've understood. And thank you very much for watching.